important landings in space history. 34 years ago, the space shuttle returned to Earth for the first time with two brave astronauts on board. Bob Crippen and John Young flew the first shuttle with no test flight. They actually got on the shuttle the first time it flew. Scott Phillips is one of the many Huntsville residents who worked on the shuttle program. I was actually on the last team to do the checkout of ET-1. And, of course, my claim to fame is I actually pulled the ribbon off of ET-1. His memoir, Removed Before Flight, is named after that ribbon, and it tells the story of his career that spanned the entire program. He also specializes in wood shuttle models, and a special commemorative STS-1 model is now on display at the Huntsville Library. It features a white wood tank, like Columbia's first white external tank. To Phillips, these models and his book preserve a legacy that this town built. There would not have been a shuttle program without Huntsville. So thousands of people here in North Alabama worked some way or knows someone or has a relative that worked on the shuttle program. 